Welcome back, everybody. In this lesson, we're going to begin talking about how things seem. And the first word we're going to learn to do that with is going to be soul. Soul is a word that can actually be used a number of different ways in Japanese. Uh, there are a number of different phrases and a number of different forms that it can take. Um, we are really just going to briefly introduce one and then focus in on another. Um, there are definitely other ways that soul can be used besides the ones we'll cover today. Um, they can be important, but it gets kind of advanced for what I'm trying to accomplish with this class. But I would say, as always, feel free to investigate further, um, learn more about the language on your own. Um, it is kind of interesting the different ways it can be used. So, uh, the first way that we can use soul is to talk about something either being the case or not being the case. Um, so, for example, if I said so desu ka or so, that would mean is that so or is that the case? Now, for another example, let's imagine a conversation between two people. The first person says, Anata no namae wa furedo desu ka? And the second person responds, Hai, so desu, or un, so da. That would mean uh, the first person had said, Is your name Fred? And the second person says, Yes, that's right. Um, alternatively, of course, they could say, So ja arimasen, or so ja nai, which would mean, No, that's not the case. Now, the way to use soul that we're really going to focus in on in this lesson is attaching soul to an adjective stem to talk about how something looks or seems. So a couple examples before we really dig into this. I could say, ano hon wa omoshiro so desu, meaning that book looks interesting. I could also say, anato no inu wa genki so desu, meaning your dog seems energetic. Now this is pretty simple to do. With E adjectives, we just drop E and add soul. So omoshiroi, interesting, becomes omoshiro soul. Tanoshi, fun, becomes tanoshi soul. Kowai, scary, becomes kowa soul. And abunai, dangerous, becomes abuna soul. Now, there is an exception to this rule, and that is E. As usual, E has to follow its own set of rules, so it becomes yosa soul. Um, and, of course, this applies to any adjectives that have E as a component of them. So, kako e would become kako yosa soul. So, if I were to say, sono terebi gemu wa muzukashi soul da, that would mean, that video game looks difficult. The adjective muzukashi means difficult, so muzukashi so means seems or looks difficult. If I said, akachan wa nemu so desu, that would mean, the baby looks sleepy. Nemui means sleepy or tired, so nemu so means looks sleepy or seems sleepy or tired. If I said Rentaro kun no atarashi kuruma wa hayaso da, that would mean Rentaro's new car seems fast. So that's E adjectives. Uh, na adjectives are just as simple. You just drop na from the end and add so. So genki or genki na, energetic, becomes genki so. Benri or benri na, convenient, becomes benri so. And hitsuyo or hitsuyo na, necessary, becomes hitsuyo so. Uh, time for a few examples. If I said, 
このホテルの部屋はきれいそうだ。That would mean this hotel's rooms look clean. If I said Motoko chan wa shinsetsu so des, that would mean Motoko seems kind. And if I said Anata no taburetto wa benri so da, that would mean your tablet seems convenient. All right, let's try using what we've learned. Takeshi's older brother seems cool, and this is going to be informal. Takeshi no ani wa kakko yosa soda. That dog over there looks mean. Let's run. This is going to be formal or desmas form. Ano inu wa ijiwaru so des. Hashirimasho. All right, pulling on some grammar and phrases we learned in previous lessons. Jackie was working from 7 o'clock to 6.30. Because of that, he looks sleepy. And this will be informal. Jackie wa shichiji kara rokuji han ma de hataraite ita, dakara nemusoda. And our last sentence Your cat ate the fish quickly. He seems to like it, and this will be formal. Anata no neko wa hayaku sakana o tabemashita. Suki so des. That is it for today's lesson. Ja, mata.